published 1635 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of January 2018, updated 330 Eastern Standard Time, the 8th of January 2018. Gareth Bale scored twice inside two minutes, but Real Madrid still managed to drop two more points and find themselves 16 points behind leaders Barcelona one week before the midway point of the season. They have a game in hand but on current form there are no guarantees they will be able to use it to close the gap on the runaway leaders. Bale looked back to his best but shaky keeping from Kalo Navas and some sloppy defending, typified by Marcelo, cost them dear. On 33 minutes Celta were ahead. They broke quickly and Iago Espars found Daniel Was in space with Marcelo nowhere to be seen down the Madrid left. He spotted Navas off his line and chipped him from the edge of the area to make it 1-0. Maxi Gomez headed in a late equaliser as Celta Vigo picked up a hard-fought point at home against the champions Gomez scored the decisive goal for his side and it was no more than the home side deserved from the performance the Real Madrid players were visibly frustrated as they dropped further behind in the La Liga title race Gareth Bale's precise finish into to the bottom corner put Real Madrid on terms after they had fallen behind the Welshman wheeled away. In celebration after tucking home to quieten the home fans inside Balaidos Stadium Celta Vigard, Blanco, Malo, Cabral, Ron Calia, Castro, Otto, Joas, Sanchez, Radolia, Labitka, Menandez, Sister, Moore, Espars, Gonzalo, Zunist, Subs, Alvarez, Fontas, Sola, Mendez, Bookings, Espars, Malo, Goals, Joas, 33, Gomez, 81, Real Madrid, Navas, Pagimi, Varane, Nacho, Marcelo, Modric, Vasquez, Casemiro, Cross, Isco, Co. Kovacic, Bale, Asensio, Ronaldo, Unused, Subs, Vallejo, Cassia, Menandez, Merrill, Brookings, Navas, Casemiro, Goals, Bale, 35, 38, Referee, Santiago, Jamie Latter, Real Madrid responded with two goals inside 95 seconds and both were first-time finishes from Bale. The first was perfectly crafted for him by Tony Cross and the second made to measure by Isco, but on both occasions the through balls needed to be dispatched and both times Bale, who had done well to time diagonal runs in behind Celta defenders applied subtle touches to send the ball past Ruben Blanco. Bale had turned the game on its head but Madrid were almost playing with 10 when two minutes before the break Hugo Malo felt the full force of Casemiro's elbow and the Brazil midfielder was perhaps fortunate to receive just a yellow. Malo was the aggressor in the second half when he kicked Bale and was cautioned. Celta stepped up a gear in the second period, Madrid, in contrast, were playing with the handbrake on, Modric and Isco were taken off on 75 minutes but Cristiano Ronaldo could easily have been the switch, he was having an off night and Madrid were no longer threatening. Aspas was still full of running and he should have equalised on 71 minutes. He won a penalty when he went through on goal and was impeded by Navas. The Madrid keeper had come charging out of his goal and he was almost as far off his line when he saved a Spars penalty. It should have been retaken but Madrid escaped, albeit not for long. Cristiano Ronaldo and Isco joined in the celebration as Zinedine Zidane's side fought the way back into to the match. Bale has impressed for Los Blancos since returning from injury and once again proved his worth for the visitors. The former Tottenham man stabbed home the second after Isco found him with a wonderfully accurate delivery. The scorer and provider came together to celebrate the goal which gave Real the lead before half-time Aspas saw his penalty saved by Kalo Navas as the Celta legend passed up the opportunity to make it 2-2 Aspas failed to put his effort far enough away from the clutches of Navas who comfortable saved the spot kick on 81 minutes the equaliser came. Marcelo pirouetted and possession was lost. Aspas fed Was and when he crossed Maxi Gomez's thumping header left Navas with no chance. It could have been worse for Celta when Espars went down in the area and claimed a penalty. He had played for it ensuring he clipped Marcelo's leg before going to ground. The referee made the right call. By now Bale had been replaced by Marco Asensio but it was too late for Real Madrid to turn one point into three. Celta supporters celebrated the draw as if it were a win and Real Madrid faced up to headlines about how they remain stranded in fourth, at this rate they will have to play the preliminary round in next season's Champions League. Daniel Was had put Celta Vigo ahead with a delicate chip after Iago Espars had freed him in plenty of space. Ronaldo rises to compete with Gustavo Cabral for a header and the Celta man manages to outjump the Portuguese. Marcelo looks to show his dribbling ability. 
As Aspas pursues the Brazilian, preparing to make a challenge, Sedan watched his side go a goal down but show admirable resolve to dig themselves out of the hole quickly. Real Madrid fell even further behind in the title race after suffering another disappointing result.